This is canvas. And the side pieces are leather. That's all the leather that you're getting. Cheers to you dolls. Let's go. Hi dolls, Tisha Monique back again with another video for you dolls today. I'm super excited to film this for you guys and I've been wanting to film it for a long time. I just had an idea to share with you dolls the wear and tear on my speedy bag because I am a speedy loving girl or I used to be but I still love speedies like they are still a classic it girl staple in your collection if you are in louis vuitton you have any type of a luxury bag collection the speedy is a classic louis vuitton staple bag that that each girl has to have in your collection so today i wanted to share with you guys my wear and tear on my original speedy now this is the speedy 35 and you guys have seen me review this bag before what's in my bag unboxing this bag a long long time ago and I've since gotten a new Speedy. I believe this is my fourth Speedy. I had original Speedy and then I went in to purchase a Neverfull. And the gentleman that was assisting me noticed that the Speedy that I was carrying had a little bit of damage to the, uh, the exterior and he went ahead and swapped it out. And then I've since bought two additional ones because I really like the vibe of them when they're brand new, when they're still not pantined as far as the coloring and that sort of thing. So I figured I would just show you dolls my current bag, which is relatively newest that I have. And then I'll show you also my older bag, which you dolls can see her back there. And just so you can see, you know, I think it's kind of interesting to see how the bag wears. And especially if, you ha if you've had it a while, you've had a while just to share with you how wear and tear is some of the things that i've seen commonly happen with the bag and things just to share a lot of people are still actively purchasing the speedy bags because it is such a functional and classic bag so i just wanted to share with you dolls if you use your bag daily or if you've had your bag for some time these are the things that you can expect to see just a fun little view of how speedies look over time so Let's go grab you some champagne. First of all, let's sip, let's cheers, let's toast to the new year. Happy new year, happy 2022 to you. Cheers. Okay, so first of all, I thought that it would be cool just to show you my current bag. And then since we are here to show off how the bags weather over time, I'll show you how this current bag has weathered where she is right now and then we will get to this fine beauty back here because i have much love for her much respect that's my og ride or die bag we've been through some things sometimes and been to many many places from traveling out of the country to clubbing to partying to brunches to lunches to date nights shopping types of events so she is not going anywhere she is a staple in my collection so much love for her and then I have my newer one. This is not a brand new bag. I don't have a brand new bag. I don't think that I'll buy a brand new Speedy. I may, who knows? But even this gal has the miles on her. So this is my current Speedy, which you all saw me do in my latest video where I said, what's in my bag? This is her. This is she, hello, meet her, greet her. And this is how she looks. So if you are a Speedy owner, or if you're thinking to get a Speedy, this is how it is. It's just a big, mesh of canvas and the print is just one piece or it should be one piece if you're authenticating or just to know and it wraps all the way around and then you have your side flanges here side bag and you have your end piece your lock I mean you don't have to put your lock there but that's signature and then you have your two top handles and this is similar to the previous doctor's bag this is canvas the Louis Vuitton print, the LV print, the monogram print, the classic print, and then the top straps, the detailing here, and then the side pieces are leather. That's all the leather that you're getting also as far as, as well as the inlay here for the pocket, but the rest of the bag is essentially canvas, okay? So when you get inside of the bag, just to let you know, I think I've had this bag at least, I'm gonna say at least five years or more i didn't actually figure out the exact dates but i believe i've had it i know i've had it at least five years 
And this is how she's looking. Now, I haven't carried this bag every single day because I've branched off onto other brands and other bags. But for the most part, I will still pull her out every now and then because just for travel, just for I'm going places where extended periods of time, I just think it holds a lot more. And even though the strap here can be a little uncomfortable, it's still a really nice bag. And it's just a really nice look. It gives. It does. So I wouldn't say this is a bag that I've used every single day, but I've had it long enough to wear the leather here, which is usually like a really cream, almost white in color when you first purchase, is now pantene, darkened up. And that's just from carrying the oils on the hand. Not so much wear and tear, but just use. And then you can see the two divots here. The stitching is really nice, the classic Louis Vuitton yellow stitching okay and then on the inside if you happen to carry makeup or anything that's loose you will note that the inside of the bag if you have any spills or anything like that it can get damaged so you can see the wear in here where i think i had some hand sanitizer that opened up and kind of Got a little damage in there. I could try to wipe it off. I just never did, okay, to be honest. And then I also had a pin that didn't have the cap, if you dolls can see that, way down in there. Let's see, where is the pin? There's an ink stain here. It's all the way in the bottom of the bag. Now I've got some stuff in here. I think it's all the way in here. But anyways, it can take a little damage. Way back there in the corner, there is an ink spot or stain if you can see that it's like a green pen or something of course it doesn't affect the outside of the bag for the most part but on the interior this brown cloth can take a beating i think i have a lipstick that also exploded in the purse with the cap off if you guys can see that so there's a red um stain in there and then just stuff like I don't know, just stuff is in there. And you can see that there's an ink stain here as well. So whatever that pen was, it really did a number. But I think that I can actually clean this out or have it cleaned. Um, and I may do that just to try to preserve a little bit more. Inside you do have a little key ring here where you could attach your keys if you have like a Louis Vuitton key fob. And then this is just the little um, back sides to the straps here. This pouch, I think it takes a lot of, at least in my case, it can get dirt, dirty pretty easily. So still very classic, very nice bag. It's like that. Okay, so now let me show you my original Speedy bag. And like I said, me and this gal have been through some things, okay? So I wanna share this with you guys, just like I said, so that you can see how Speedy bags can age, how they can wear. It was time to retire this girl and that's why I got the newer Speedy bag because the same bag because I really love, I really love the bag and it was time for this girl to retire. And you can just see that over there, she's soft. The material of the canvas does soften over time. So that is, these are all things that are typical of a Speedy, especially depending on how much you use them, how much you wear them and how you care for them. You're not supposed to put any leather protectors or anything on the bag, you know, because the natural oils in the bag, the leather itself needs to breathe and it will wear the way it's supposed to wear on its own. So I didn't put anything on that bag, okay? But just because with hand sanitizers, lotions and stuff, and because you're in constant contact with the handles, they do tend to Pantene first, the handles that that is. So you'll see the very variation in color as far as the handles, the little divot, the end pieces and that sort of thing, there will be difference and variances in the colors for those reasons. And the straps, the hand straps that you're holding do tend to wear fastest or at least to show the Pantene the fastest. So for my bag, my old ski girl. So this is her here and you can see that the she is hard. And I don't know why this bag got hard the way that it did. I did not put anything on it. It just feels really stiff. It is really stiff. I mean, it's still a good bag. I could still, you know, it can, she could still be worn. It's still a great bag, but just she definitely has some age on her. Now this bag has to be at least maybe 10 years old, at least like nine to 10 years old. 
okay and so this is how she's looking definitely a lot different and i'll do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the two um weathered or aged um bags but for this one you can see that even the leather here has stretched where the lock has weighted it down not that the lock is heavy or anything and then even the lock itself has oxidized okay so just a lot of little differences that i thought was interesting to see if you actually utilize your bags and not just have them like i wear them once or twice here and there but if you're using it on a day-to-day -day basis these are some things that were typically seen in the bags now on this bag i did experience some tearing in the canvas and the funny thing is is that my first bag prior to this bag when i went in and I was shopping for something else, like I told you dolls. Manager saw the, that bag and saw that it had the little rips in it, little cracks. And you can see the cracks all along here. And he asked me, did I put anything on it? You know, did I wipe it with alcohol or spray it or clean it? And I said, no. And he was telling me that that was a defect and he swapped out that bag for this bag. And um, that is how I ended up with this bag. But now, come to see, it's doing the exact same thing. It ended up doing the exact same thing. You can see the Pantene on this is dark, very, very dark. And then on the bottom, on the four corners, since it doesn't have any feet on this bag, then you can see that just from, I never sit it on the floor or anything. So um, I don't know what that is just from rubbing it, rubbing up against something. I don't know, but all the four corners have done that as well. And like I said, the texture of the bag is really stiff, really crisp, really hard. And, you know, if I fill her up with things, she could fill back out, but just the state of the bag, this rip here, or this canvas here is so, I mean, I just don't want to carry it anymore. Okay, and then I did not go around and slice this up. It just aged like that, guys, where it's just cracking. I don't know if it's because the canvas got so stiff that it just started to blister like that. But look at this. All the way around, it's the same thing. Both sides of the bag. And I don't know. I thought, like, you know, it got older and older, and I was like, well, maybe I should take it back in. But I don't know. I just didn't because I was like, well, maybe it was something I did, the reason it did this. And I didn't want them to, since it's the same account, once you go in, I didn't want it to look like I was trying to keep getting, you know, replacement bags. So I never took it in. But this is the interior. And like I said, this is a 10-year bag. So, you know, it is what it is. That could be anything. That could be baby bottles. That could be whatever. So I got a great use out of this bag. I'm not mad at her at all. And that's why I said, you know, she's not going anywhere. Not that I'm going to use her, but I just, and look, I just will keep it just for sentimental. The side of this pocket has even started to peel. Look at here, you see the plastic lining or coating on the pocket. Ooh, it's coming to loose. So, yes. But inside, um, let me see what else to tell you dolls. It has some pen stains and things like that. But for the most part, let me show you what she looks like. Like I said, be nice to my bag. So she's a lot darker too. You can see the color that is in the Pantene of the leather and the can. You can see that this one, a lot softer. You can see the color differences. I feel like it's even a size difference. But it's the same. It's the same size bag. No, it's the same. It's probably just the way it's. I don't know. But oh my God, this almost feels. I don't know. I feel like this one is smaller, at least on the camera it is. But, anyways. I just don't feel like she's going to do the same thing. Like, it's not that hard. It's not stiff. It's not chipping along the edges. I mean, there are a few little cracks. Now that I'm looking, there's one here. I never had any problems with the zippers, though. There was just that one little crack there. 
So I feel like the quality on this one is a lot better for some reason, or maybe it's just because it's newer. Or maybe because I don't use that one as much as I use this one. Like this one was like every day, like work, home, going out, everything. So she saw a lot of time. She got a lot of wear. Never had a problem with the zippers or anything like that. But this is her dolls. I see. Why was that spicy? Okay, dolls. So that is the end of this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know if you have the Speedy, what your experience has been as far as your wear and tear on your bag. Have you ever had cracks on your bag or the canvas to come off? And if so, what did you do? Did you just roll with it or did you take it back to Louis Vuitton? And were you successful in getting a replacement bag? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I thought it would be kind of fun just to kind of look at the differences and the appearance changes, wear and tear of the Speedy 35 bag. And I'll see you dolls in the next one. Bye.